Hey, it's Dave, and I want to talk to you today about the pyramid and the inverted pyramid. So it's important when you're playing drums to produce yourself while you play. What that means is you want to listen to the overall sound you're making on the drum set, and you want to make sure that each piece of the drum set, as you play it, is played at the right volume. Now, the pyramid, an inverted pyramid, is an idea that I got from a drummer named Steve Smith, who's a famous drummer. He used to play for uh, the band Journey, which was one of the best rock bands of all time. And Steve Smith is a drummer who had great success playing rock with Journey and jazz. Two very different styles of uh, music that have very different approaches on the drum set. When you're playing rock, the pyramid is a right side up pyramid. Three sound sources while you're playing a, a drum beat. The bass drum, the snare drum, and the hi-hat, or ride cymbal. You think about the pyramid. The thing on the bottom, which is the bass drum, is the loudest. In the middle, snare drum, that is the of middle volume. And on the top of the pyramid, of the less volume, is the hi-hat or the ride. That is the right way to play rock, like this. If you were to play it with the hi-hat being loudest and the bass drum being softest, it would not sound right. Like this. That is not the right way to play rock. You need to play it like a pyramid with the bass drum loudest and the hi-hat softest. If you're playing jazz, the pyramid is now upside down. Same three sound sources, bass drum, snare drum, and hi-hat, or ride cymbal. This time, on top, is your hi-hat or ride cymbal, which is the loudest in the middle, still the snare drum, and the bass drum, when you hit it, is now softest, like this. You would not be playing jazz with an incredibly loud bass drum and soft ride cymbal. It would sound like this. So think of the pyramid as upside down when you play jazz. And overall, it's a reminder to produce yourself while you play. Listen to everything you're playing, the sound that you're making, the music you're making, and make sure that each piece of the drum set is played at the correct volume within the context of the groove.